uh, making Oakland safer. That was the message today from Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao. Yeah, she announced new initiatives aimed at improving public safety, and this comes after the robbery and murder of a popular baker and activist last week. Also, the city is dealing with a scandal surrounding its police chief who remains out on paid leave. Ground Force Teresa Astacio reports on how the mayor plans to try to move forward without an official chief to spearhead her plans. Increased foot patrols, a vehicle enforcement unit, new traffic division, all elements of the mayor's new safety initiatives to help strengthen public safety throughout Oakland. We can rise to meet uh, this challenge. Starting next week, you will see a return of our walking officers to our business and neighborhood shopping districts. This is a unit that hasn't been in existence for the past two years, so this is an exciting time. With Oakland Acting Police Chief Darren Allison and community supporters, Mayor Shang Tao discussed some of the highlights of her plan. For example, today, Oakland uh, Department of Transportation will be announcing it will be announcing its new vehicle enforcement unit to remove the blighted abandoned vehicles. The Metro Chamber is committed to a clean and safe Oakland and understands that our future relies on our residents, workforce, and visitors feeling safe as they live, work, and play in this beautiful city called Oakland. When people feel safe, they will come out and shop. Employees will come back to work. Crime in Oakland has surged in the last few years with robberies and homicides skyrocketing. The homicide rate soared last year to 119 deaths. Last week, an admired local baker died after suffering a brain injury following a robbery at a downtown Oakland bank. Low police staffing has plagued the city, but Acting Chief Allison says that new recruits are coming and a grant will help with funding to carry out the plans. No update. Again, we're taking the investigation very seriously. The mayor refused to discuss the status of Chief Armstrong, who she put on paid leave in January when a report criticized his decision on a discipline issue. Instead, she pushed that issue aside and said her administration is focused on moving forward is what it's about. It's about bridging those gaps with not only government, but with businesses, with residents, with visitors, and, uh, and everyone else who's a part of this ecosystem. Teresa Stasio, Cron4 News.